If you're anything like the average American, you probably think that you aren't too easy to fool. If you're anything like us, we think that you're wrong. We set out to test this theory by manufacturing a completely fake scenario using real unwitting participants, and we hired actors in an attempt to influence the opinions of our subjects. We created a fake student arts organization complete with fake branding, fake emails, and fake flyers, and we rented a room in CSMA downtown to conduct a fake focus group on real unwitting individuals. May 27th, 2023, 11.15am. People trickled in, one by one. Close friends, strangers, environmentalists, and one director of a local youth theater company. Welcome, everybody. This is a focus group for holding. Group 1 started at 11.34 a.m. Participants seemed interested, but sleepy. Dove explained that we were from the ISAA, a student-run organization who worked to connect local artists with the greater Ithaca community. We have different snacks if you guys are interested. Each group was different, but for the most part, they kept quiet during the presentation. No one asked any questions or even got up to get a cookie. Maybe this was a sign that we had their full attention. Maybe they believed that we were legit. Um, just for, you know, playback reasons, it's just, we would, like, we informed the previous attention. Yes. Because this would Dev explained that the focus groups were to determine which artists would be commissioned to have their art showcased. It was to my surprise when only one group laughed at the selected medium, Ithacan dumpsters. Yeah, I mean, short sign of films, Realistic pop art, we are looking for your help in deciding what goes on your city's dumpsters. Dove went on to tell them that they would be choosing whether or not local artist Helga Van Tantz would have her art put on a dumpster. Um, the artist today, uh, Helga Van Tantz, hails from Germany. She experiments with self-expression through dance, water. Van Tantz has lived in the city of Ithaca for 10 years, but has recently moved to a rural trees for comedy. It's, it was actually pretty hard to, to get her to make make this video because she's not an extremely techie person. We were able to, and you can watch it. The mask is a uh, representative of my my thievery from nature. And how I rob and I steal and I and I take and I and I dance. The water, the water. It will call me up. It will say, oh, "Hello, is this Helga?" And I say, "Yeah, it's Helga." And it's the the, the river says, so, "Come dance." Come dance! And I said, okay, I gotta fit it in my schedule. Hold your applause, because a fake art presentation wasn't the only trick up our sleeve. We had planted two actors to hopefully have influence over the audience's opinion of Helga. Amalia marked two slips of paper, positive opinion and two slips negative opinion, and then placed them in a bag and shook them. This way, we randomized which group got which treatment. We then texted our actors this information, and they improvised from there. I think that um, <clears throat> dumpsters are a medium that's not like, explored all the time. Uh, and I think especially if it's such an artsy city, that I think um, the more art that we can get in our city, the better. And I think that nighttime attractions are a great way to do that. Because we have so much, we have so many murals and paints that you don't see during the day. Because they're not lit up. And so I think having something that's projected, especially like on a dumpster, and there's dumpsters all over the cut. So I think, I think it's a good idea. I, I personally, I think we shouldn't have that on dumpsters or anything around the city, really. I don't, I, I mean, I didn't really understand it. I don't really know what that was. 
or will she make something else? Hmm. There's so much to do. I thought it was great. Me too. I thought it could be interpreted in so many different ways. Yeah, I thought that one. So that was the second time I've seen it. I still don't understand. I, like I said, like I don't want that in our town. I don't want that to be like projected anywhere. It's not mainstream enough for it. I think it's just a little bit more mainstream than that. I had questions about the logistics. Are they, because when you dumpster gets like picked up and emptied, yeah, set in such a way that it's still the same place. Or is that part of the art? It's like on the wall now. No, that's a deeper meaning. I think there's not enough crazy people in the internet. I think we need more. And I think this helps bring in that demographic. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, they have a, like a support, you know, parasocial relationship. And with it's over. Yeah, like a mascot. Oh, yes, yes. A face of their. Um, Do you think she would bring the Trinidad Club in here? I hope so. <laughs> The perspective makes it hard to follow, and it's very weird to see. It's like a little off kilter, uh, but it's it's intentionally so. It's just like a, I, I, don't I, I don't know if it's like serious or if it's satire. That's I think you gotta choose which one you want to pray. I like that. I, I mean, what I like about it being on a dumpster that part specifically is that. It's like, it's lofty, alienating, in a way that like, if it was on the steam wall in a gallery, yeah. or it would seem like highfalutin, but it feels like it's like appropriate. It is kind of like yeah. anti-art in its way. I think lofty and alienating are the exact words I would use to describe Helga. So. Yeah. Are they just going to set up a project? Or is it just gonna loop? Yeah. <laughs> it's a one minute video. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I would be a little bit freaked out if I walked by that like, yeah. it was dark out and walked by a dumpster. It was like work at night, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just that movie, I feel like. Yeah. It's like a movie very good, but I'd be <laughs> interested to see if she does like other art, like the whole connection of water thing. Yeah. yeah. I just want to get other artists. Mm -hmm. Right, it's hard to vote yeah. when you're not as sure what the other options are. Because they said 15 other people. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not, <laughs> not feeling that one. Yeah. Did they say which dumpster? I think all of them. Okay. Like every dumpster. Yeah, every dumpster. Okay. I'm yeah. going for it. Yeah. Every yeah. dumpster. Yeah. I'm fascinated by, like, is it playing on a loop? And so like it's a very short video. Right. So I'm thinking that if it's if it's a looping thing, if it's just twenty four seven running that thing, there's gonna be like I am just picturing yeah. kids just transfixed by a screen and they're gonna get like indoctrinated in yeah. you know, alienated art. They join the commune. Yeah. I think we should start like a fan club for her, the Helga. Like that has a nice ring to it. Or would it be the the Von Townsends? That's up to the fan club, I guess. <laughs> right. Why was why was Dove on the floor? How's it going? Hi. So here are your form jails. I'm going to be here at least. It's okay. If you wish for your. The results? Well, they worked out in our favor. Here's the data we collected from the surveys we handed out. Let's take a look at our findings. For the positive treatment, the mean artwork rating was 9.429 out of 10. In comparison, the negative treatment had a mean artwork rating of 5.286 out of 10. The positive treatment box plot had a significant skew to the right, the minimum rating being 8 compared to a minimum rating of 3 for the negative treatment. What does this mean? We wanted to test if the difference in means was significant. Our null hypothesis was that there was no difference in means, and our alternative hypothesis was that the mean difference would not equal zero. We then conducted a two-sample t-test at a 0.05 significance level, with the result being a p-value of 0.000612, much lower than our alpha level of 0.05. Therefore, we rejected the null hypothesis that there is no significant difference in means, and seem to have statistical evidence that it is very easy to influence the opinions of others on topics like quirky art. So, next time you view a movie or enter a gallery, 
we suggest wearing soundproof headphones. That is, of course, if you really want to have your own opinion. In a world of comment sections and op-eds, we're destined to be influenced by the person across the desk or even across the world. But if you just take that gut feeling and arm yourself with instinct, you'll have a heck of a lot better time discovering who you are and what impact you're going to make on the world. A further analysis and description of our process can be found in the link in the description. Talk about water. And the water, it calls to me like, ring me, hello, hello, is this easy? Is this, wait, what's my name? Is this, is this Helga? No. Yes. <laughs> I have <broken. laughs>